हेलो एवरीवन आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन और द मैकेनिज्म्स विद स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशंस एज वी नोट दैट देर इज अ पॉइंट ऑन द मैकेनिज्म व्हिच ट्रेसेस अ स्ट्रेट पाथ विद इन द पॉसिबल लिमिट्स ऑफ मोशन सो अ स्ट्रेट पाथ इन अ मैकेनिज्म इज ट्रेस्ड बाय अ पॉइंट इन द मैकेनिज्म विद इन प्रिस्क्राइब limits and it can be given by two ways by turning pair or by sliding pair the use of turning pair is preferred for straight line motion because of more wear and bulky size of sliding pair so there are two types of mechanisms may provide exact or approximate straight line motion as discussed in the following article so what is the condition for exact straight line motion uh, consider a figure in which o be the point on the circumference of a circle of diameter od oe let any chord ob as you can see in the figure o b is extended up to point c such that ob into oc is constant and if ob into oc is constant then point c will trace a straight line path which is perpendicular to the diameter oe extended at point d that means cd is perpendicular to od as you can see uh, to prove this that ob into oc is constant we, we know that triangle boe is similar to d o c as angle o is common in both the triangles and angle o b e this angle is similar to or equal to angle o d c both are 90 degree so triangle b o e is similar to d o c and we know that if two triangles are similar so their sides are in equal ratio so we can say that ob upon oe is equals to od upon o c or we can say od is equals to ob upon oe into o c since oe is a diameter of a circle it is constant and ob dot oc ob dot oc as assumed was constant so od will be a constant as per the equation 1 what i said od is a dia of the circle and ob into oc is constant so od is constant hence the point c moves along the straight path and cd will be perpendicular to od exact straight line motion mechanism with turning pair are described 
her namely peculiar mechanism and heart mechanism so now we'll be discussing about peculiar mechanism now what is a peculiar mechanism peculiar mechanism it is a straight line motion mechanism in which we have a eight links as shown in figure so we can say that it has a eight links say one two three four five this q says six this c pays seven and this a q is eight link o a is fixed so this is an eight link mechanism where link two is a driving link link four five six and seven are all of equal length thus formed a closed four bar linkage the point p and q are at opposite corners of the four bar linkage the point b and c are connected by the links of equal length that is link that is link 2 and 3 when link 2 that is aq rotates the product oq into op is constant that is oq into op is constant and if we are able to prove that OQ into OP is constant. Then we can say that point P moves in a straight line as we have just described earlier. So join the point BC as we have already joined to bisect this point PQ at say some point F. now from right angle triangle obf and bf p that is obf and bf p ob square plus OF square is equals to OB square plus sorry OB square is equals to OF square plus BF square Pythagoras theorem and also BP square is equals to BF square plus FP square. As OFB is a right angle triangle and BFP is also a right angle triangle, so BP square equals to BF square plus FP square, and OB square is equals to OF square plus BF. square now subtracting this equation 1 from second that is ob square minus bp square is equals to of square minus fp square This and this is cancel. A square minus B square can be written as A plus B, 
and a minus b that is of plus fp into of minus f p or we can write of plus fp that is of plus fp equals to op and of minus fp as bf is the perpendicular bisector so fp can be written as fq also so of minus fq can be written as o q since this ob is a link on the mechanism and it is constant and also bp is a link of a peculiar mechanism it is also constant so we can say that op into oq is constant therefore point p traces a straight path px which is perpendicular to o e proved therefore peculiar mechanism is a straight line motion mechanism so it is proved that peculiar mechanism is a straight line motion mechanism also we can calculate the degree of freedom for this mechanism as we know that degree of freedom is equals to f equals to 3 n minus 1 minus 2j minus h and in this case n is equals to 8 as the number of links in the peculiar mechanisms are 8 total number of lower pairs or we can say binary joints are at point o three links are meeting so there will be two binary joints at point b also three links are meeting so it is equals to two binary joint as one ternary joint equals to two binary joint at p there is one at c also three links are meeting so there will be two binary joints at q 1 2 and three links are meeting so here also will be two binary joints and at point a link 8 and 1 are meeting so there will be one binary joint so total number of binary joints are 2 plus 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and, and total number of higher pairs equals to 0 there is no point or line contact so therefore degree of freedom is 3 into 8 minus 1 minus 2 into 10 minus 0 It is 21 minus 20 equals to 1 therefore degree of freedom of a peculiar mechanism is 1 that means it requires only one input for the straight line output and which is given by the link 2 which is a driving link hope you are clear with the straight line motion mechanism thank you